All right, so you've been thinking about moving to Venice, Florida, but you have no idea which community is right for you or where you should live. It's really kind of hard to figure these things out, but we have it down to a science. So in this video, I'm gonna break down some of the best communities to live in Venice, Florida and what they have to offer or why I think they're the best. So if you're thinking about moving to Venice, Florida and you wanna know where you should live, stay tuned. You're not gonna wanna miss this video. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francesca Hanahoe. If this is your first time to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but also tap on the notification bell as well so you get notified every time I upload a new video just like this one, showing you all of Sarasota County where to live, eat, sleep, work, play, everything. And listen, ever since I started doing these videos, I've been getting so many calls and texts and emails from people just like you wanting to relocate to the Sarasota County area, and I absolutely love it. So make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email days, nights, or weekends, it doesn't matter because I definitely have you covered when you are moving here. All right, so I decided to put together this video because honestly, my husband Richard and I are working all the time to help people relocate here from a different part of the country. So we're constantly helping people to figure out what is the best community for them. And I hear people always asking which one is a good community in Venice, which one has this, or which one has that, which one has the best golf, which one's closer to the beaches. So I decided, you know, since that's really what Richard and I specialize in is helping people relocate from all over the country that I would put this together in a video for you and try to help you break down Venice and kind of understand what communities have to offer now listen when you're deciding where to live in Venice there's no bad communities to live in Venice but what it really boils down to is kind of what you're looking for what meets your lifestyle or what's important to you so that's kind of what I did for this video is I broke um, the areas or the communities that I know are the best into different categories so that I could kind of simplify it for you. The first category that we're gonna cover is gonna be golf communities because of course, when you're moving here, if you play golf, you're really interested in getting into a really good golf community. My favorite community that is a golf community is actually part of Welland Park, which is in Venice, but it's actually down in Inglewood, so it's gonna be closer to the beaches and it's called Boca Royale. Boca Royale will have a road that connects it to Welland Park eventually. The road is not open yet, and I know that some viewers here were saying that they went and checked out the road because I had mentioned it on another video, but it's not open yet. They do have to wait for approvals and other things, so it is gonna take a little bit of time. But for now, it's still a beautiful community that they are marketing as part of Welm Park. It's gated, it's being built by Neil Communities. It actually has Neil Community homes in it and also Neil Signature homes in it, which I absolutely love. The Neil Signature line is a little bit more custom. They can change things around in the home for you not so much the exterior walls, but interior wise, they can make a lot of changes for you. This community is close to being sold out, but of course there's a lot of resale in the community, so it's still definitely worth mentioning. It is close to Minnesota Key Beach. They do have fine dining and casual dining here in this community, and that's at the 19th hole. They have a beautiful fitness facility. Of course they have golf, tennis, bocce ball, pickleball, and they do have single family homes and villas. So two different styles of living here. And the prices really start around 500K and go up a little over a million. I love Neil Communities because of the mature landscaping and just the way he lays out and plans the community. He leaves a lot of trees and landscaping around. And so if you're looking for a home that has no rear neighbors, Neil Communities is definitely a good place to look because he does a great job of leaving conservation throughout the community. All right, so the second community we're gonna talk about is the Venice Golf and Country Club. And that's because it's the only private golf course in Venice. So if you really want to have that private golf course, then Venice Golf and Country Club is probably a great place for you to look. They just finished redoing their new state-of-the-art wellness center. They're definitely, you know, making sure that everything is fresh, keeping it, you know, really updated here. They have dining, social events there. They have an athletic facility, aquatic center, tennis courts. Their single-family homes there start around 425,000 and go up over a million. 
land. You're not gonna find any villas or anything like that. It's just gonna be single family ranch style homes in this community. You do have to purchase a golf membership or a club membership. And the last time I was showing a client properties in this community, the golf memberships were actually sold out. So you had to purchase a club membership. So it just depends on what's available when you're looking at homes. The club membership starts at 20,000 for an entry fee. The golf membership starts at 35,000, but there's no minimum for dining. So you don't have to spend a certain amount of money in the dining room. And they actually give you a portion of the money that you do spend back at the beginning of the year. So that's a nice little program they have. If you're moving to Venice and you're like, Francesca, I wanna live in an area or a community where there's no HOA, you know, I'm not gonna use the amenities. I don't want someone telling me what color I can paint my house. Or maybe you wanna park your boat or your RV in your driveway, or, you know, pull it around the side of your house, but you just don't want anybody telling you what you can and can't do. I hear it all the time. We hear all kinds of things. Some people prefer HOA community, some people don't. I get it. Out of the no HOA communities, I'm just going to tell you a couple of my favorite is really going to be Venice Gardens, which is if you're looking at a map and you see the Tamiami Trail, it's going to be just right east of the trail. And in here, you're going to find homes built in the 60s and 70s, ranch style homes, starting a little over 300K and going up to around 500. So these price points are super affordable. Venice Gardens is a super quiet community. That's why I really like it. Also, it kind of is right next to East Venice, East Venice is just a little bit north of where Venice Gardens is. This whole little section right east of the trail is a really great place if you're looking for a community that's quiet and nobody's gonna bother you. So these communities are a great choice if you're really looking for a quiet community with no HOA where no one's gonna bother you. And because there is no HOA, there is a little bit different style of homes. But what I've found is a lot of these areas in Venice Gardens and East Venice, people really do seem to keep up their properties. So you don't have to worry too much about it. These are definitely areas that I personally would even look in to purchase a home or a VRBO. When you're living in Venice Gardens or East Venice also, you're very close to get to the beaches. So if you want to make sure that you're still close to the beaches and you're like, Francesca, I don't know how far is that? It's already east of the trail. It's really about a five to 10 minute drive to get to Venice Beach or a little bit further up north. If you want to go to Nokomis Beach, you're looking at maybe like 15, 20 minutes, but you're very close to the beaches. So it's a really great location, really quiet area that I absolutely love. And if you're looking for some kind of luxury living or maybe you want to find a custom built luxury home, then the next place I'm going to suggest is going to be Venice Island. Now, Venice Island, obviously, you know, it has a lot of mixture of homes going on on the island. There's a lot of older homes from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, ranch style homes, but there is some two-story homes. And what we're seeing is there's a lot of homes being either rehabbed or knocked down and rebuilt. There's even some lots available, not very many, but there's a few lots available. But what we're seeing is there is a custom builder known to just Venice here, and he's doing a lot of custom homes over here on the island. So the good things about the island is obviously you're close to the beach is, you know, you can walk or take your golf cart. It's a golf cart community. You're gonna be really close to the Venice downtown area that has great restaurants and shopping, lots of boutique shopping. You're not gonna go wrong with all of the restaurants that are in the downtown area, whether it's Italian that you're looking for, or if it's just maybe a hamburger, like some bar food, you know, typical American food. But also you're gonna be close to Finn's and Sharky's. That's obviously my favorite place to go eat dinner. But the other thing is some of these areas on the island have their own private access to a beach. It's called Golden Beach. So depending on where you're located, maybe you'll have access to that private beach. There is a few condo buildings on the beaches here on the island. So if you're looking for a condo, you're like, Francesca, I really don't want to, you know, purchase home. It's just my wife and I, or it's just me. There's a few condo buildings. You can get a 2-2 starting around the mid 200s on Venice Island. But if you really want to be right on the beach, the condos are starting more around 520 and kind of going up from there. The single family homes really start in the high 800s and go up from there. Now, if you're moving to Venice and you're really looking for new construction, obviously Welland Park is being developed and part of it is really Northport, part of it is Venice. The whole thing is really, you know, being marketed as Venice. They have 11,000 acres of a master planned community here. It's really going to be fantastic when it's all done. Cool Today Park is right in the middle of Welland Park. So if you like baseball, you're going to love it. It's the home of the Atlanta Braves spring training facility. So if you want to catch a game during spring training, you can definitely see a game there. Or when it's not spring training, they have live concerts and other events that take place at Cool Today Park. And they do have the Tomahawk Bar and Grill there that's in the 
Stadium, so you can go there. That's open all year round. My family absolutely loves going there to have lunch and you can get drinks and everything else there. So it's just a great time for the whole family. In Welland Park, they actually have villas, condos, and single family homes. The villas and the condos are starting in the high 200s. And then the single family homes are really starting in the high 400s and going up from there. Now, the downtown area of Welland Park is just now opening. It's doing its soft open right now. They're having Friday night concert series in the lawn. There's a big lawn there. So they're actually doing Friday night concert series and they're starting to do some Saturdays as well. So lots of events going on. There's some restaurants that haven't opened yet. There's one that has Volani Steak and Company. I'm hearing it's really, really good. There's also gonna be a rooftop bar there. I'm very excited about it. I cannot wait for this to open. Welland Park is actually being compared to Lakewood Ranch and everyone's saying it's kind of a boutique version of Lakewood Ranch. If you're looking for somewhere where you wanna have events, you wanna have a lifestyle director or coordinator, you want to have clubs in your community where you can meet people and do things that, you know, maybe you want a wine club or a golf club. Welland Park is definitely going to be your best option when it comes to moving to Venice, Florida. Now, when you live in Welland Park, it takes about 15 minutes to drive to the beach and it's really an easy drive. It's a straight drive. All right. Well, those are some of my favorite communities when you're moving here to Venice, Florida. Obviously, there's so many and it's hard to cover them all. But when you're relocating here, we love to have our clients Zoom with us so we can talk to them and get to know exactly what they're looking for so we can help them find exactly the perfect area and community that fits their lifestyle and what they're looking for. So if you're moving here, make sure you reach out to us. We'll schedule a Zoom and go over all the things that are important to you and get you in the best community. All right, I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.